What do you want me to do for you? And this blind man doesn't respond, if you can. He just says, Lord, please let me see. He has trust. He knows he can do it. He doesn't know if he wants to do it, but he's, he, want, he knows that he can do it. And Jesus is moved by this man's faith and he's healed. But I look at this, uh, the perseverance in this blind man seeking out Jesus. That he, he cries out, Jesus, son of David, he knows who he is. He knows he's the Messiah. Have pity on me. And they tell him to be silent, but he keeps crying out, son of David, have pity on me. He keeps crying out to God. So often in our prayer, we either don't have that trust that he really is going to be taking care of us, or we give up after a time, after he hasn't answered our prayer. And this blind man continues to cry out and cry out, and he gives us this witness. And I think about th this morning as I was, I was praying, the Lord really put it on my heart, um, that for some of the things that I'm struggling with in my own life, my own, uh, my own little addictions and the like, the, the Lord is saying, have you really asked me to take care of this? Or are you trying to do this on your own? Have you asked me? Have you begged me? Have you, have you pleaded with me over and over and over again? And he said, put it on my heart. Ask me specifically and keep asking me. Lord, set me free. Lord, help me with this. Lord, help me to overcome this part of my life. And I think the Lord is inviting us to that perseverance and that trust. So that when Jesus asks, what do you want me to do for you? Lord, not if you can, or, you know, if you feel like it, or, you know, it would be great if you could, but Lord, please, let me see. Lord, please do this. Lord, please. I know you have complete authority over all heaven and earth. Move in my life. May we truly reach out to the heart of the God who loves us so intimately, so tenderly, so passionately, and beg him to draw us close to his heart, to set our hearts on fire for love of him.